great, Mom. No, I mean, does it look stylish? I don't want my future son-in-law to think I'm old-fashioned. Bertha, just sit down and relax. Relax? I'm gonna meet my daughter's husband-to-be. How can I relax? Well, Phil feels as if he already knows you. In fact, he refers to you as Mom and Dad. Oh, is that so? How nice. You know, Ruthie, Phil seems to be a different sort of fellow than your past boyfriends. Mm. Yeah, he's employed. But this time, I'm really in love. I've never experienced anything like this before. You don't have to ask yourself, am I in love? You know it. Uh. I'll get it. Hi, darling. <laughs> Well, these are my parents, Charles and Bertha Furman. I'm delighted to meet you, Mom and Dad. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, why don't Why don't we all sit down? <laughs> why don't we all sit down? We are sitting, Mother. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, uh, may I offer you a drink? Thank you. Scotch on the rocks. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, I'll go help my husband mix the drinks. <laughs> oh, he, he said scotch. This is for me. Make one for me, too, and easy on the tonic. Now I know why she didn't bring it here before. Why not? He couldn't make it up the stairs. <laughs> Charles, that man is old enough to be a father. Oh, come on, I don't look that old. You are gonna say something to them, aren't you? Not now. Listen, with someone his age, later may be too late. <laughs> Ruth, your father has something to say. Well, uh, Mr. Phil, yes. uh, son, uh, Bertha and I were, uh, we, 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 we just feel that you, here's your drink. Thank you very much. You know, I want to tell you, Mom and Dad, that I've waited a long time to meet a girl like Ruth. Obviously. Of course, I know you must have been a little upset when Ruth told you that I was married before. She said it didn't last very long. It was one of those wartime marriages. Civil? <laughs> World War One. He made the world safe for democracy, my little doughboy. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> the last time I saw that dress was on our wedding day. Well, I haven't had much occasion to wear it since then. I still remember how beautiful you looked, all in white. Just think, when I was wearing white, Phil was turning gray. Our little Ruthie will be wearing that dress now. Oh, I can't go through with this. Well, if you don't, Ruthie might rebel. How much more can she rebel? Ruthie has the only fiancé in the world who'll need a transfusion before he can take his Wasserman test. Well, do you want him to run off and elope? Run? You mean hobble, don't you? Ugh. <sighs> Now, the only thing left for us is to help her plan her wedding. All right. I'll help her plan a small, secret wedding. How small? You, me, Ruth, him, in the kitchen. That's no good. Okay, then let's forget about you and me. I'm going to be late to the office. See you later. Oh, hi, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Yeah, bye. Where were you? Oh, at the caterers, trying to decide on some food. Got any suggestions? Is Phil going to be eating, too? Of course. Well, then I suggest you get something with low sugar, low salt, low cholesterol, and no spices. Like what? Oh, uh, strained beets. You can always make a dip. Mother, this is no time to be making jokes. Right. There'll be plenty of those at the reception. Oh, there's so much to get done. Who should we hire for the band? Paul Whiteman still available? Mother, we want to dance to rock music. Oh, then we better put Dr. Cohen back on the guest list. By the way, what are you and Phil gonna do on your honeymoon? Mother! I mean, where'd you plan to go? He won't tell me. He wants to keep our honeymoon a surprise. Boy, will it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Beverly. 
Yes, they met him. Well, they like him a lot. You know, I haven't decided on a color yet. I know you like green. Ask my mother? Okay, hold on a second. Mom, what color do you think the bridesmaids' dresses should be? Black. <laughs> she likes green, too. Corsages? Gee, I don't know. What kind of flower would be appropriate? Wilted ones. <laughs> oh, Beverly, that's really very nice. Mom, Beverly's gonna give me her gold bracelet for something borrowed. Now I have something new, something borrowed, and something blue. All I need is something old. I didn't say a word. Where's uh, Phil tonight? It's the night before the wedding. He's at a stag party. What kind of stag party? They're serving punch at the Medicare office. <laughs> no, there is a naked girl in the cake. Well, I hope she used to be a nurse. Now, are you insinuating that Phil... Spare me, please. Just for your information. Ruby, please, your father is trying to speak. <laughs> Charles, don't you want to have a talk with Ruthie? No. Uh, Oh, well, yeah, yes, I do. All right, Daddy, what is it? Well, now, Ruth, uh, Ruthie, you know that your mother and I aren't the kind of parents who interfere. Right. And I know tomorrow's a big day, and I wouldn't want to say anything that would spoil it for you, but you might be making a big mistake. Daddy. But you still have time to reconsider. I don't want to. Phil is the man of my dreams. I didn't know he could stay up that late. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. Phil's a very nice guy. Uh, man. Uh, uh whatever. But there is a big age difference. A, a sort of generation gap. Generations of a gap. For instance, when you're 40, he'll be... Am I making any sense to you? Absolutely. Oh, I don't know. I just don't. Also, you and Phil have known each other for such a short while. But long enough to love each other. But marriage isn't the sort of thing you rush into. You've really got to get to know each other. We're saying this for your benefit, Ruthie. I realize that. Well, then why are you rushing into this marriage? Why not give the relationship some time? You're like a year. Well, I suppose I could have a talk with Phil. Maybe we could just have an affair. Oh, good. Then if he lives, you can marry him. <laughs>